Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, or pirate fishing, is a grave threat to the marine environment, its biodiversity and the livelihoods and food security dependent on it. Losses due to pirate fishing are estimated to be between 10 and 23.5 billion US dollars per year, representing between 11 and 26 million tons of fish. West African waters are estimated to have the highest levels of pirate fishing in the world. Fish is a crucial source of protein for millions of people, and fishing is one of the few sources of employment in many coastal communities. During a dramatic two-year investigation, the Environmental Justice Foundation, EJF, has documented rampant pirate fishing in Sierra Leone and the laundering of this illegal catch into the world's major seafood markets. Many of these vessels are quite literally out of control, fishing in protected areas, destroying local fishermen's nets, hiding their names, transshipping their catch illegally at sea, evading arrest, attacking local fishermen and abusing their own crews. The catches of these vessels have been entering the EU, the world's largest import market for seafood. This is despite a new EU regulation which requires all fish imported into Europe to be accompanied by a catch certificate that declares that the catches have been obtained legally. 90% of the vessels documented by EJF fishing illegally are bottom trawlers, vessels that drag heavy trawl equipment along the seabed, catching all marine life in their path. Up to 75% of the catch of these vessels is dumped back into the sea, dead or dying. EJF has been working with local communities in Sierra Leone to combat this illicit trade in stolen fish. A community surveillance boat responds to calls from fishermen who witness pirate fishing or have their fishing equipment destroyed by industrial trawlers operating illegally in inshore areas. Local staff in Sierra Leone take photos, video and GPS positions of offending vessels and submit evidence to the Sierra Leone government and European authorities to ensure that the vessels are sanctioned and their catch cannot be exported. The information is also sent to the vessel's flag state, who under international law is responsible for monitoring its activities. This monitoring in remote coastal areas of Sierra Leone, supported by EJF's team of investigators, is having important results. Fish has been seized at European ports. The Sierra Leone government has fined two pirate vessels over 300,000 US dollars. Panama has fined one of its boats 200,000 US dollars for receiving illegal fish at sea. And Korea is in the process of taking action against 14 vessels documented by EJF. The EU is also considering the possible blacklisting of the fishing boats identified during this investigation. All known illegal trawlers are believed to have now left Sierra Leone and artisanal fishing communities in Sierra Leone and northern Liberia are reporting an increased ability to fish due to the reduction in pirate fishing. But the problem persists in other areas of West Africa. In Guinea, a number of vessels that fled Sierra Leone have been sighted fishing in inshore areas. One of them, the Kum Myong Tu, has changed its identity to avoid detection and sanctions for its previous crimes. EJF is now calling for urgent action to find a global solution to the continuing high level of pirate fishing in West Africa before it's too late. Developing coastal countries must be supported in controlling their waters and protecting their marine resources. Flag states must be forced to control their distant water fishing fleets. And a global record of fishing vessels must be developed, which gives each fishing vessel a unique identification number that cannot be changed. Ports, seafood companies and consumers must say no to pirate fish before it's too late. Sign up to our petition online. Visit www.ejfoundation.org.